What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. Mr. James Hsu. Dot com. And we got The Edge of Tomorrow. I wish. Edge of 17. The Edge of 17, which might Similar not be. Similar premise? Yeah, <laughs> might be. Uh, we also have the premiere of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. That's what I'm watching. And I'm pumped. Harry Potter. Saga, you can check out our review right there in that wide eye. J.K. Rowling's like, you know what, those dump trucks and money aren't coming in like they were <laughs> like bringing they were on before. new series. Uh, but right now, we're going to be talking about a very vi revisited genre of just coming to age. I actually got to see a bit of this movie at CinemaCon. New company, STX Entertainment, has been throwing <clears throat> movies out this year like crazy. Bad Moms, uh, Free State of Jones, and now Edge of Seventeen. I believe there might even be one more, but this new company is making movies really cheap with some really effective actors they're doing some really exciting things and I'm really excited that they're able to bring uh, this kind of mm -hmm. these this much entertainment for being a brand new company mm -hmm. um, this movie though is revisiting the John Hughes days the breakfast club the rap the brat pack you know 16 candles movies like that about teenage years coming to age something we've seen quite often but I'm hoping this movie gives it a fresh take we have Woody Harrelson we have Haley Steinfeld um, from True Grit who is amazing and I know we have some other actors uh, in it as well, but I'm spacing that right now as it's 3 o'clock in the morning. But let's hope this movie is really good. Well, how long is the movie? Uh, not long, but now we're in 35 minutes. Okay, well, I'll still be with my Potter universe, Potterverse. Yeah. You let me know how it is, you know? Yeah, well, Edge of 17. Hopefully it's good. All right, so we just got out of Potterverse. Dun, 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 Fantastic dun, Beasts and where to find them. Well, you just got out of Edge of Seventeen. Yes, and I really enjoyed this movie. Mm. I thought this movie uh, revisited a genre that I said earlier was so familiar, but brought it to a level where it just felt new and fun and fresh. I mean, Haley Seinfeld is wonderful in this movie. I think she is super funny. I think she, she just nails this awkward, confused teenager going through all of these different emotions, being a loner, um, dealing with the loss of a best friend. Not a not a, obviously like a serious loss in the sense of death, but just issues and things like that. And I really just found the movie to be really funny and, and heartwarming and had a really, really nice heart. Now I didn't love it, but it is getting very well reviewed in the 90s on Rotten Tomatoes right now. I wouldn't say that it was as, you know, like amazing, but it was still an enjoyable movie. One that I think is lighthearted and funny enough that you could pop on multiple times. Like this is a movie you could watch over and over again, have in the background, just kind of enjoy these moments. There's some really great stuff here. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them also came out and you could check out our review on that white eye. I would say, uh, which probably is a surprise to many, go see Edge of 17 instead of going to see Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, or go see them both. But I think you're gonna enjoy Edge of 17 a lot better because this movie is really clever, it's really smart, and it has heart. And that always seems to be really important. I mean, they mix the Brat Pack, they mix some Mean Girls, and they have this really fun um, coming to age story of this uh, young, awkward teenage girl. Love it. Uh, next week. Moana. Moana. The Rock. Moana. Let's see what he's cooking. If you're some la 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 what the Rock do do is cooking. As he used to put it. Um, Good reviews are coming out. Good reviews are coming out. Very good reviews. The year for animation, let me tell you, because we've well, been we hitting... say that every year now. No, I don't know. Not like this, though. Said was last, last year. year like this? We had Inside Out last year. We had Big Hero 6. What was another one? Who cares? Yeah, but we have Kubo, Zootopia, Moana. One more. Sing. You seen it already? No, but I'm just saying Finding it's going to be good. Huh? Finding, Finding Door. Door and Finding Door. That's a lot, man. That's a lot in one year. Um, the dinosaurs last year. Yeah, good dinosaur was last year, but that's all right. That counts. That wasn't a good dinosaur. It doesn't count. Yeah. Anyway, wasn't, it wasn't. Yeah, it, wasn't it wasn't like Pixar. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't their strongest feat, but no. they definitely came back. It wasn't us. bad. They but... came back and hit us with two this year that were pretty strong. Well, they had Inside Out last year that made it up for everything. Yeah, and I and I think Inside Out was still like, to me, Inside Out still holds that bar over Zootopia. Yeah, that's why they won the Academy. Yep. Which I wonder, will this be the year of Disney animation? Or Pixar, or will Kubo. Kubo be the underdog and slice? That'd be amazing. I doubt it, but that would be awesome. Um, anyway, next week we have uh, a bunch of mashed potatoes and turkeys getting in our way of doing our movie review. The massacre of over 100 million Native Americans. I mean, turkeys. <laughs> oh my goodness, you! This is a friendly channel. We yeah, don't talk but America, stuff here. we're pigs. But we'll be eating turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you actually wrap your turkey in bacon, which I've heard is a very popular. 
thing to do nowadays. Mm -hmm. I've, I haven't heard that. Gordon Ramsay likes to do that, and I actually think it makes a lot of sense. Anyway, uh, we'll be here Tuesday night to review to review Moana. Moana and talk about some movies. So make sure to join I'm us. Jacked if you've up. Not. Uh, if, you, if you're worried, I'm hoping you, you come with me on Wednesday to watch Allied. I do too. Then we can do, a, a and then we can go see Bad Santa after. No, I'm not watching that. Why? Man, nah, when you're me. <laughs> what happens when you're Shu? You gotta watch the time, man. You only have so much time in a day. If you don't know what it's like to be James Shu, luckily he makes vlogs, so you could kind of simulate. He's like your avatar, exploring the world in, a, in an extravagant, phenomenal way as you sit there behind your keyboard. You can watch all those vlogs on his channel. Click that white eye. You could find out more information uh, and learn something, too. That's always good. Uh, but we'll be back on Tuesday. A few days away. We ready. We ready. ChasingSimon.com is known as Film Lovers website.